like that. It's great that we can still find time to try new things, despite our busy schedules. Absolutely. Speaking of which, we should make these coffee meetups a regular thing. What do you think? I agree. Let's plan to meet once a month. It's important to keep in touch. Agreed. And next time, it's my treat. It's a deal. Thanks for today, Anna. It's always a pleasure catching up with you. Same here, John. Take care and see you next time. Did you have a chance to look at the report I sent you yesterday? Yes, I reviewed it last night. Your analysis on the market trends was really insightful. Thanks, I'm glad you found it useful. Do you think it's ready to be presented in the team meeting? Almost. I think it just needs a little more data on the competitor analysis section. I can help you with that if you like. That would be great. I was actually struggling to find recent data on our main competitor. No problem. I'll pull up the latest figures and we can go over them together. How about after lunch? Perfect. I appreciate your help, Mark. Emily, here are those figures. Let's see how we can integrate them into your report. Fantastic. This data really completes the picture. Thanks for digging it up so quickly. Glad I could help. By the way, are you still leading the client meeting on Thursday? Yes, I am. It's my first big client presentation. I'm a bit nervous. You're going to do great. Your preparation is always thorough. If you want, we can do a practice run tomorrow. That's a generous offer, Mark. I would really appreciate that. It's no trouble at all. Helping each other is what makes our team strong. Let's schedule it for tomorrow afternoon. Agreed. Thanks again, Mark. Working with you makes these challenges a lot more manageable. Anytime, Emily. Let's make sure that report and your presentation are both successes. Hello, is this Mike from Tech Solutions? Yes, this is Mike speaking. How can I assist you today? Hi Mike, I'm Lisa from Greenwood Enterprises. I'm calling about the software installation issue we're experiencing. Hi Lisa, I'm sorry to hear you're having trouble. Can you describe the issue you're encountering? Sure. We installed the latest update yesterday, but since then, our system has been running really slow, and we're getting frequent error messages. I see. It sounds like the update might not have installed correctly. Have you tried restarting the system? Yes, we've restarted it twice, but the problem persists. All right. 
Let's try a few troubleshooting steps. Are you near the system right now? Yes, I am. Great. I'll guide you through the process. First, let's check the system logs to see if there are any specific error codes. Okay, I'm opening the system logs now. There are a few error codes here. Should I read them to you? Yes, please. That would be very helpful. Thank you, Lisa. Based on these codes, it looks like a compatibility issue with the update. I recommend we roll back to the previous version and then attempt a reinstallation. I can guide you through this process. That sounds good. I'm glad we have a plan. How long do you think this will take? It should take about 30 minutes. I'll stay on the line with you to ensure everything goes smoothly. That's a relief. Thank you for helping out so quickly, Mike. It's my pleasure, Lisa. Let's get started and get your system up and running as soon as possible. Excuse me, is this seat taken? No, it's not. Please, feel free to sit down. Thanks. I'm always a bit nervous about taking the bus in a new city. I'm afraid I might miss my stop. I know what you mean. I felt the same when I first moved here. Where do you need to get off? At the Central Library. Do you happen to know how many stops that is from here? Oh, you're in luck. I get off at the same stop. I can let you know when we're there. That would be wonderful, thank you. I'm Alice, by the way. Nice to meet you, Alice. I'm Tom. Are you new to the city? Yes, I just moved here for a new job. It's a big change from where I used to live. Welcome to the city, then. I hope you'll like it here. What kind of work do you do? I'm a graphic designer. I've joined a small creative agency downtown. And you? I'm a high school teacher. I teach history. It's quite a rewarding job. That sounds interesting. I always enjoyed history in school. It's great to hear that. Feel free to ask if you have any questions about the city. I've been living here for quite a few years now. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate the offer. It's nice to meet someone friendly in a new place. No problem at all. It's always good to help out. Ah, and here's our stop, the Central Library. Already? That was quick. Thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Have a great day, Alice, and good luck with your new job. Thanks, Tom. Have a great day, too. Hey, I'm a bit late. Did I miss the start of the movie? 
No, you're just in time. The trailers are still playing. What movie are we seeing again? Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I've heard it's really good. Oh, I've been looking forward to this one. Did you manage to get popcorn? Yes, got us a large one to share. And here's your soda. Perfect, thanks. Let's find some good seats. How about those seats in the middle? They have a great view. Sounds good to me. I always love the atmosphere in a movie theater. There's something exciting about watching a movie on the big screen. I agree. It's a totally different experience than watching at home. Oh, the movie's starting. Finally. I've been avoiding spoilers for weeks. That was amazing. What did you think? Loved it. The special effects were incredible, and the storyline was so engaging. Yeah, it definitely lived up to the hype. Do you want to grab a bite to eat and discuss the movie? Sure, that sounds great. I could really go for some pizza. Pizza it is. Let's head out. Hi, I don't think we've met before. I'm Julia. Hi Julia, I'm Alex. Are you a friend of the host? Yes, Sarah and I have been friends since college. How about you? I work with Sarah. We're on the same project team. This is a great party, isn't it? It really is. Sarah always knows how to throw a good event. Have you tried the punch? It's amazing. Not yet, but I definitely will now. Do you come to these parties often? Pretty much. Sarah's parties are always a highlight. What about you? This is actually my first time. Work has kept me pretty busy. I can understand that. What do you do for fun when you're not working? I'm a bit of a photography enthusiast. I love capturing moments and landscapes. How about you? That's interesting. I enjoy hiking and being outdoors. Maybe you can photograph some of my favorite trails someday. That sounds like a great idea. I'm always looking for new places to explore with my camera. Well, let me know if you ever need a hiking partner. I will, thanks. It's been really nice talking to you, Julia. Likewise, Alex. Enjoy the rest of the party. You too, see you around. Wow, it's such a beautiful day at the beach, isn't it? Absolutely, the weather is perfect. I don't think we've met before, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. I'm Lily.
I come here often for the sun and the waves. I'm more of a sunset and beach volleyball person myself. Do you surf? The waves look great today. I do, actually. I was just about to hit the water. Have you tried surfing before? A few times, but I can't say I'm very good at it. It's harder than it looks. It definitely takes practice. Maybe I could give you a few tips if you're interested. That would be awesome. Maybe next time? I'm planning to stay for a while today. Sure, sounds like a plan. There's nothing like riding a wave. I'll take your word for it. So, what brings you to the beach today, other than surfing? Just taking a day off to relax and enjoy the outdoors. How about you? Same here. A day at the beach always clears my mind. Plus, I can't miss the sunset. The sunsets here are breathtaking. Maybe I'll stick around to see it today. You definitely should. It's worth it. I'll consider it. Well, I should get going. The waves are calling me. Have fun out there. And let's catch up later for that surfing lesson. Definitely. Enjoy your day, Ryan. You too, Lily. See you around. Hey John, I noticed you've been going to the gym a lot lately. How's that going for you? Hi Claire, it's going really well, thanks. I've been feeling a lot more energetic and healthier since I started working out regularly. That's great to hear. I've been thinking about starting a fitness routine myself but struggling to find the motivation. I totally get that. What helped me was setting small, achievable goals and gradually increasing the intensity of my workouts. That sounds like a sensible approach. Do you follow any specific diet along with your exercise? Mostly, I try to eat balanced meals with plenty of veggies and lean protein. But I believe in moderation, not deprivation. So, I still enjoy the occasional treat. Moderation seems key. I've been reading about the importance of a good diet for overall health, not just for fitness. Absolutely, diet plays a huge role. And drinking plenty of water, of course. How about your sleep? Are you getting enough rest? I try, but my sleep schedule is a bit erratic. I've read that it can affect your health quite a bit. It really can. Good sleep is essential for recovery, especially if you start exercising more. Maybe creating a relaxing bedtime routine could help? That's a good idea. Maybe some herbal tea and less screen time before bed. Exactly. And if you ever want a gym buddy or some workout tips, just let me know.
I'd be happy to help. Thanks, John. I appreciate that. I might take you up on that offer soon. Anytime, Claire. Looking after our health is so important. I'm here to support you. Thank you. It's nice to have someone to discuss this with. Let's keep each other motivated. Agreed. Here's to our health and fitness journey. This weather has been really unpredictable lately, hasn't it? I know, right? Absolutely, Megan. Just last week it was sunny, and now it's been raining nonstop for days. I had planned a hiking trip for this weekend, but it looks like I'll have to postpone it. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to do some gardening. This rain isn't helping. It's a good thing for the plants, at least. But it does put a damper on outdoor activities. True. On the bright side, it's a perfect time for indoor hobbies. I've been catching up on some reading. That's a great idea. I should probably start that new book I bought. What are you reading? I'm reading a novel about mountain climbing. It's quite thrilling. How about your book? It's a mystery novel set in Victorian England. I love a good whodunit. Sounds intriguing. Maybe this change in weather isn't so bad if it gives us more time for reading. That's a positive way to look at it. Hopefully, the weather clears up soon, though. Yeah, fingers crossed. I'm looking forward to some sunshine. Me too. Until then, I guess we'll have our books to keep us company. Absolutely. And if you need any book recommendations, let me know. Will do, Ethan. Thanks. Wow, this festival is even more vibrant than I expected. I know, right? The energy here is incredible. Are you here for the music or the food? A bit of both, actually. I've heard great things about the bands and couldn't resist the food stalls. How about you? Same here. I'm a big fan of live music. And I never pass up a chance to try new foods. Have you seen the lineup for tonight? Not yet. I was just about to check it out. Any recommendations? You should definitely catch the headline act. They're amazing live. And there's also a great jazz band playing later on one of the smaller stages. That sounds fantastic. I love jazz. It's always so lively and spontaneous. Absolutely. And if you're into trying different foods, there's an incredible taco stand near the main stage. Tacos? Count me in. I've been craving some good street food. Then it's settled. 
tacos and jazz it is. Shall we head over? Let's do it. Thanks for the tips, Lucas. It's nice to have company at such a big event. No problem, Emily. Festivals are always more fun with good company. Let's make the most of it. Hey, Jordan. How did you find the math test today? Hi, Alex. Honestly, it was a bit challenging, especially the last question about trigonometry. How about you? I felt the same. I spent a lot of time on that trigonometry problem. But I think I managed to solve it in the end. That's great. I wish I had studied a bit more. Anyway, are you preparing for the science project due next week? Yes, I am. I'm working on a model of the solar system. It's quite exciting. Do you need any help with your project? Thanks for asking. I'm doing a project on renewable energy. Maybe we could meet after school to discuss some ideas? Sure, that sounds like a plan. Let's meet in the library after the last period. Perfect. See you then. And thanks again for offering help. No problem, Jordan. Always happy to help a friend. See you in the library. Hi, could you help me find a business casual blouse? Hello? Sure, I'd be happy to. Are you looking for any particular color or style? I'm thinking of something in a light blue or pastel shade. Preferably something that's not too formal. I have just the thing in mind. We received some new arrivals that might interest you. Follow me, please. Here we are. These blouses here come in various pastel shades and they're perfect for a business casual look. This light blue one has been quite popular. Oh, I like this one. Could I try it on? Absolutely, the fitting rooms are right over there. Let me know if you need a different size. This fits perfectly. I love it. Do you have any skirts that would go well with it? Yes, we have a collection of skirts that would complement that blouse beautifully. They are just on the other side of this aisle. Great, I'll take a look. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. If you need any more assistance or a different size, just let me know. Enjoy your shopping. Honey, did you remember to schedule the doctor's appointment for the kids this Friday? Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I'm sorry, I'll call right now to set it up. It's okay but please try to do it today. It's important for their annual checkup. I understand. I'll take care of it first thing. And how's your day going? Busy as usual. I've got a lot of meetings today. But 
I'm managing. Thanks for asking. How about yours? Pretty much the same. Lots of deadlines this week. But hey, are we still on for our date night this weekend? Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to it. We haven't had a night out in a while. Me too. I think we both could use a break. I'll make reservations at our favorite restaurant. That sounds wonderful. Thanks for taking care of that, love. Anything for us? I'll see you at dinner tonight? Yes, I'll be home by six. Love you. Love you too. Take care. Excuse me, do you know where I can find the check in counter for Flight 520 to London? Oh, you're in luck. I'm headed to the same flight. The check in counter is just down this corridor to the right. Thank you so much. It's my first time flying internationally, and everything seems a bit overwhelming. I understand, it can be quite daunting. After check in, you'll need to go through security. It's straight ahead past the check in counters. That's really helpful. Do you fly often? Yes, for work mostly. It gets easier once you're familiar with the process. Make sure you have your passport and boarding pass handy for security. Right, I'll keep that in mind. Do you have any tips for a long haul flight like this? Sure, stay hydrated, walk around the cabin occasionally. And try to adjust your watch to the destination time to help with jet lag. Great advice, thanks. I hope we have a smooth flight. I'm sure we will. Safe travels, and maybe I'll see you on board. Yes, safe travels to you too. Excuse me, do you work here? Yes, I do. How can I assist you today? I'm looking for a book on beginner's photography. Do you have any recommendations? Absolutely, we have a great selection in the photography section. Are you looking for something more focused on digital photography or traditional film? More towards digital photography. Great! We have a book titled Digital Photography Essentials that's perfect for beginners. It covers basics like camera settings, composition, and post processing. Let me show you where it is. Here it is. This book has been quite popular with our customers. This looks exactly like what I need. Thank you. Also, do you have any books on local hiking trails? Yes, those would be in our travel and outdoors section. Follow me, please. Here are our books on hiking and outdoor trails, including some great local guides. Perfect. I'll take this one about trails in the national park. Thank you for all your help. You're welcome.
If you need any more assistance or have other questions, feel free to ask. Will do. Thanks again. Hello, I'd like to check in, please. The reservation should be under Rachel Anderson. Hello, Ms. Anderson. Welcome to our hotel. Let me just pull up your reservation. Yes, here it is. You're booked for two nights, correct? Yes, that's right. May I have a photo ID and a credit card for any incidental charges? Thank you. Your room is ready for you. It's on the fifth floor, room 507. Here's your key card. Breakfast is served from 6.30 to 9.30 a.m. in the main dining room. The spa and sauna are available until 10 p.m. Would you like some assistance with your bags? No, thank you. I can manage. Is there a Wi-Fi password? Yes, the Wi-Fi is complimentary. The network is hotel guest and the password is welcome123. Great, thanks. And could you tell me where the conference rooms are? Of course. The conference rooms are located on the first floor, just past the lobby. There's a sign that will guide you. Thank you for your help. My pleasure, Ms. Anderson. If you need anything else or have any questions, feel free to call the front desk. We're here to assist you 24-7. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good morning. Could I get a large cappuccino, please? And do you have any non-dairy milk options? Good morning. Yes, we have almond, soy, and oat milk. Which one would you prefer? I'll go with oat milk, please. And could you add a shot of vanilla syrup? Absolutely, one large oat milk cappuccino with vanilla coming up. Anything else for you today? Yes, I'm looking for something to eat. Do you have any gluten-free options? We do. We have gluten-free blueberry muffins and gluten-free banana bread. Both are freshly baked. Could you tell me a bit more about the banana bread? Sure. It's made with ripe bananas and almond flour, and it has a hint of cinnamon. It's quite moist and flavorful. That sounds amazing. I'll have a slice of the banana bread, then. Good choice. Your total is $9.25. Will you be dining in or is this to go? I'll be staying. Can I also get the Wi-Fi password? Of course. The Wi-Fi password is Coffee Love. Your order will be ready in just a few minutes. You can take a seat and I'll bring it over to you. Perfect. Thanks so much. Here's your cappuccino with oat milk and vanilla, and your slice of gluten-free banana bread. Can I get you anything else? This is perfect, thank you. 
The place has a really cozy vibe. Do you often have live music here? Yes, we have live music on Friday and Saturday evenings. It's quite popular with our customers. You should come by. That sounds lovely. I'll definitely try to make it. Thanks again for the great service. You're very welcome. Enjoy your coffee and have a wonderful day. Hey John, thanks for meeting me for coffee. It feels like it's been forever. Hi Anna, no problem at all. It's great to catch up. How have you been? I've been good, just busy with work. You know how it is. And you? How's everything with your new job? It's going really well, thanks for asking. A bit challenging, but I'm enjoying the new environment. That's fantastic to hear. Are you still planning to go on that hiking trip next month? Yes. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. You should come. It'll be a lot of fun. I'd love to, but I have a family reunion that weekend. Maybe next time? Of course, there will always be a next time. So, any new hobbies or adventures on your end? Actually, I've started taking pottery classes. It's something I've always wanted to try. Pottery, huh? That sounds really interesting. You'll have to show me some of your creations. Definitely, I will. Maybe I can even make something for you. I'd like that. It's great that we can still find time to try new things, despite our busy schedules. Absolutely. Speaking of which, we should make these coffee meetups a regular thing. What do you think? I agree. Let's plan to meet once a month. It's important to keep in touch. Agreed. And next time, it's my treat. It's a deal. Thanks for today, Anna. It's always a pleasure catching up with you. Same here, John. Take care and see you next time. Did you have a chance to look at the report I sent you yesterday? Yes, I reviewed it last night. Your analysis on the market trends was really insightful. Thanks, I'm glad you found it useful. Do you think it's ready to be presented in the team meeting? Almost. I think it just needs a little more data on the competitor analysis section. I can help you with that if you like. That would be great. I was actually struggling to find recent data on our main competitor. No problem. I'll pull up the latest figures and we can go over them together. How about after lunch? Perfect. I appreciate your help, Mark. Emily, here are those figures. Let's see how we can integrate them into your report. Fantastic.
This data really completes the picture. Thanks for digging it up so quickly. Glad I could help. By the way, are you still leading the client meeting on Thursday? Yes, I am. It's my first big client presentation. I'm a bit nervous. You're going to do great. Your preparation is always thorough. If you want, we can do a practice run tomorrow. That's a generous offer, Mark. I would really appreciate that. It's no trouble at all. Helping each other is what makes our team strong. Let's schedule it for tomorrow afternoon. Agreed. Thanks again, Mark. Working with you makes these challenges a lot more manageable. Anytime, Emily. Let's make sure that report and your presentation are both successes. Hello, is this Mike from Tech Solutions? Yes, this is Mike speaking. How can I assist you today? Hi Mike, I'm Lisa from Greenwood Enterprises. I'm calling about the software installation issue we're experiencing. Hi Lisa, I'm sorry to hear you're having trouble. Can you describe the issue you're encountering? Sure. We installed the latest update yesterday, but since then, our system has been running really slow, and we're getting frequent error messages. I see. It sounds like the update might not have installed correctly. Have you tried restarting the system? Yes, we've restarted it twice, but the problem persists. All right. Let's try a few troubleshooting steps. Are you near the system right now? Yes, I am. Great. I'll guide you through the process. First, Let's check the system logs to see if there are any specific error codes. Okay, I'm opening the system logs now. There are a few error codes here. Should I read them to you? Yes, please. That would be very helpful. Thank you, Lisa. Based on these codes, it looks like a compatibility issue with the update. I recommend we roll back to the previous version and then attempt a re 